The next question comes from Mike Dennison and goes to Congressman Danes. Congressman Danes, welcome. I'm just wondering if uh, you support raising the federal minimum wage to $10 an hour or at all, and if not, should there be any policy initiatives to address the growing wealth disparity in our country? Every day when I wake up and have the privilege of serving the people of Montana in this job, I look at I need to put Montana first. We do not need the federal government telling the state of Montana what our minimum wage should be. That should be a conversation we have here within the state of Montana. It should be a conversation that we should not have President Obama and Congress telling us what to do. The best answer is to move forward here with jobs that are in the $15, $20, $25 $20 range, and that's in natural resources. We will create more jobs if we can get the government out of the way. These regulations that we see coming out of Washington, coming out of these bureaucratic agencies are a direct threat right now to our timber industry, to our coal industry, and to our oil and natural gas. So it's important, if we're gonna have an all of the above energy policy, which I support, it needs to also include some of our traditional sources of energy, because by developing those, if you go out to eastern Montana, they're not having minimum wage conversations right now. They're having conversations about how can they continue to hire people to, to fill the jobs they currently have. Mr. Roots, your answer? The minimum wage idea is one of the dumbest ideas ever, ever produced in the mind of the regulatory ma uh, man. Um, <laughs> there's an R squared coefficient. There are over 100 peer reviewed studies in the, in the economic literature that show that raising the minimum wage is correlated uh, with higher unemployment rates. So when you raise the minimum wage, you get more people out of work. Um, you also get inflation. And by the way, it, in, it disrupts the just basics, the fundamental laws of supply and demand. I used to have a professor down at UNLV named Hans Hermann Hoppe, one of the greatest minds I ever, ever, ever knew, um, author of the book, Democracy, the God That Failed. Great libertarian thinker and scholar. He used to say that anyone who supports the minimum wage is either stupid or evil. It's evil because it harms the poorest more than it harms anyone else. Um, Anyone who claims they believe that the minimum wage doesn't, uh, raising the minimum wage doesn't raise unemployment rates, anyone who claims they believe that, let me just tell you, it would be absolutely immoral of you. If you honestly believe that it doesn't raise unemployment rates, why demand $10 an hour? It, it would be immoral of you not to demand $10,000 per hour minimum wage. Immoral, if you don't think that has an effect on unemployment rates. Senator Walsh, your answer? Well, I do support the raise of a minimum wage. You know, our hardworking families out there who are working two jobs and still making below the poverty level, that's wrong. And don't, and don't believe that it isn't happening. I live in Helena, Montana, the state capital of the, the state of Montana. My wife works at an elementary school where she sees young boys and girls coming into school every day where their parents work, uh, two jo both parents work, and they're making poverty wa below poverty wages. What that level should be, I don't know yet, yet whether it's $10, $15, I'm, I don't know that. What I want to focus on is that Montanans are making a livable wage so that the, those hardworking families out there can make a, a, put food on the table, pay their bills, and not have to, uh, to live in poverty. When we talk about uh, bringing good quality jobs to the state of Montana, that's the, those are the type of jobs we need to make sure that we are bringing jobs that are going to pay a livable wage for the citizens of Montana. When we talk about, uh, you know, that we should let the economy take, it, take care of this on, their, on its own, well, how come that hasn't happened in the last uh, several years? When we talk about, you know, the, the experts there saying that thousands of jobs will be lost, there's no proof of that. The last few times that we've made, raised the minimum wage, we haven't lost thousands of jobs. So I, I support raising the minimum wage to a livable wage. Congressman Danes, your response? Well, I'll, I'll explain why this economy is not growing. It's because the government's growing too fast, and that is an impediment to growing this economy. But I'll tell you, every day when you show up for work, representing at the federal level, you have to make a decision. Do you stand with the people of Montana, or are you going to stand with the federal government, Barack Obama, the United States Senate? 
And this discussion of minimum wage, that is a Montana discussion. We don't need to have the people in New York or Florida or California telling us what the minimum wage should be in Montana. That's our discussion to have. So we should decide, because our minimum wage right now at 790 in Montana is already higher, the federal minimum wage. So we need to let this be a Montana discussion. And this principle is very, very important, depending on who gets elected to serve the United States Senate. Are you going to stand with Montana or are you going to stand with Barack Obama? Mr. Roots, your response? Do U.S. senators set your wages? That's the question. I mean, it's that ridiculous. Uh, wages are set by the, the law of supply and demand in the marketplace. Wouldn't it be great if we could just vote for politicians who would go to Washington and raise all of our wages? Wouldn't that be great? Wow! Of course, it's a, it's a joke. It's a mockery. It's a farce. The minimum wage is, is, is one of the stupidest ideas in the world. It disrupts the free market. The free market sets wages. Can you imagine three ugly guys in suits setting your wages for 300 million Americans from, the, from Washington, D.C.? It's that much of a joke. Uh, Senator Walsh, your response? You know, as a politician, it's easy to stand up here and talk about how we want to create more jobs, less government. But when you get put into the position, it's a little more difficult. You have to actually do something. You know, I was part of the Bullock-Walsh administration. Where we traveled around the state talking about how we were going to create more and better paying jobs as we were campaigning. Once we were elected, we had to actually do something. We put a program in place. It took us approximately a year ask, going, traveling around the state to put a, a jobs program in place. Since over the past year, the state of Montana has created over 10,000 jobs. So we are doing something right here in the state of Montana to create more and better paying jobs. And we need to continue down that track. But we need to make sure that these jobs that we are, are creating are livable wage jobs so that the hardworking Montanans can put food on the table, can buy clothes for their, their children, so that they don't have, their children don't have to rely on free and reduced lunches when they go to school. That's what's important to me.